Let me show you a simple and cheap skincare hack that actually will fix your skin. Never did I think we would be about to take a bath together, but here we are. And yes, this is Bleach. I'm Dr. Marin Locke, the budget dermatologist. I help you fix your skin without breaking the bank. I bring you real advice that actually works. So if you're into that sort of thing, hit subscribe and then come follow me on those other platforms at The Budget Dermatologist. I will put the link to those in the description. So let's take a bath. You are going to need regular, plain household bleach, a measuring cup and a bathtub with water. Okay, step one, we are going to add lukewarm water to the bathtub. You are either gonna let it get half full for a child or all the way full for an adult. And then we are going to add the bleach. So for a child, half full bathtub, you will do a quarter cup of bleach or for an adult, a full size bathtub in a standard bathtub, you will do a half cup of plain household bleach. So we measure it out and then we dump it in and we mix it around. And then we submerge neck down for about 10 minutes, a couple times a week. This is not fringe advice, okay? This is like mainstream medical advice. There's a lot of strong evidence behind bleach baths for improving your skin. Now, if you do not have a bathtub, I go through this with my patients all the time. I have an even simpler way for you to achieve very similar results without a bathtub. It involves one single product that you just spray on your skin. You let it sit and absorb and just dry. I will show you what that is at the end of this video. Okay, so who should be doing this? Like who are bleach baths really going to help? If you have eczema or atopic dermatitis, a bleach bath is an amazing tool that you can add to your overall treatment plan. Of course, you wanna ask your own doctor or healthcare provider if this is right for you. This is just educational information, but it's really great and evidence-based for people, especially with eczema or atopic dermatitis. So in atopic dermatitis, you have this weakened skin barrier. That means that you are going to lose water through your skin more easily and your skin is more prone to infection and inflammation from your compromised skin barrier. Now, very commonly, people with atopic dermatitis become colonized with a harmful bacteria on their skin called Staph aureus, Staphylococcal aureus, or Staph infections. This bacteria can worsen inflammation, it can trigger itching, and make topical treatments just really less effective. Now, that is where bleach baths come in. This is going to gently reduce the bacterial load and calm inflammation of your skin. So you can think of a bleach bath as a super diluted disinfectant soak. You are not burning your skin, you are restoring your balance. Now studies show that diluted sodium hypochlorite, that's bleach, it helps decrease this staph that I mentioned on your skin and can reduce eczema flares, infection risk, and even decrease how much you need antibiotics to get rid of those skin infections. It also has mild anti-inflammatory properties, so it actually can soothe eczema, not irritate it. Now let's talk about what the science actually says about bleach baths. There are many studies, including those that are published in very reputable journals like pediatrics and JAMA Dermatology that show that bleach baths significantly improve eczema severity scores and decrease skin infection rates both in children and adults. Now compared to antibiotic creams alone, bleach baths can be equally as effective at reducing bacteria on the skin, but they don't cause antibiotic resistance like those antibiotic creams and oral pills can. So it's a huge benefit of this treatment. Plus bleach baths are very safe when they are done correctly. They are inexpensive and they can dramatically reduce itching, redness and flare frequency on your skin. Now let's talk about a few safety notes that I always like to go over when I discuss bleach baths. Never use concentrated bleach directly on your skin. Always dilute it. The power is in the dilution. Now also, you do not want to do this. If your skin is very raw or cracked or if it's bleeding, it can sting. And then always follow your bleach bath when you get out pat dry with a very rich, fragrance-free moisturizer or ointment that you know is going to be safe and effective for your skin. Now, if you cannot do a bleach bath or maybe you just have localized eczema and you don't wanna get in the whole bath for that, you just wanna more treat a certain area, 
you can actually way simplify this and just use one product that acts like a bleach bath. It's called hypochlorous acid spray. This is the one we use in my household right now. There's actually a lot of good ones. I will link these in the description, but you can just spray these directly on the skin and then just let it dry and absorb in. And it will work very similarly, similarly to your bleach bath to decrease inflammation, to decolonize gently that staff from the skin, rebalance your skin, super easy. And these are cheap and affordable and it's still a great cheap skincare hack. I will link this in the description. Now, when you get out of the bath, again, you have to moisturize your skin. This is one I have found lately that does not burn or sting the skin. It's very effective. I'll link this in the description, along with some of my other very top favorite eczema topical products you can use to strengthen your skin barrier, decolonize the skin and help you take care of your skin so that your treatments work better or maybe you won't even need those treatments at all. So if you are dealing with eczema that just won't calm down, a bleach bath can really be a game changer or the hypochlorous acid spray. These are safe, they're effective, they're cheap, they are supported by science when you do them right. I will link this exact recipe in the description, again, with some of my favorite eczema-friendly moisturizers and products. Remember, consistency is key. Your skin barrier needs consistent and ongoing care. If you want more practical how-to skincare advice, hit subscribe before you head out and come say hi on those other platforms at The Budget Dermatologist. I post daily content there. See you guys soon, bye.